Big news on Monday from the Cleveland Indians who acknowledge the team is looking for a new name. Mark Namek has some reaction from Native Americans who've been fighting for this, along with what's next. Eliminate racism from the game! I see it as progress. Um, I, I see it as, uh, you know, we're, we're shifting times. And this is one small sign of that. So I'm, I'm very encouraged. Amber Schultz Oliver, a descendant of the Yakima Wasco tribe. She was an Oberlin College student 20 years ago when she and others met with Oberlin board member and then team owner Larry Dolan, whose family still controls the team. I saw it as truly damaging to, to Native people, to young people. She credits activists here for keeping the issue alive in the face of resistant team owners and angry baseball fans. So for those who have championed it and have stuck with it, uh, I, I am absolutely amazed. National protests over racial injustice has forced institutions and governments to confront their complicated histories over statues, flags, mascots, and names. The Washington Redskins dropped its name before the NFL season this year. In July, the Cleveland Indians said it's rethinking its name. As for the team's logo, the buck-toothed red-faced Chief Wahoo, the team began phasing out its use on uniforms and stadium banners at the end of 2019. The New York Times and others are reporting the name will disappear after the 2021 season, though the ball club has not detailed its timeline. The team said in a statement today it's talking to indigenous groups, and the name will remain in place for now, promising the new name will not have links to Native Americans. I will believe it when I see it. Sundance, executive director of the Cleveland American Indian Movement and a member of the Muskegee tribe, is not ready to celebrate. No one seems to know um, who the team has reached out to, or the organization, rather. So that gives us a little pause. The origin of the team name is complicated and mired in controversy. Even the idea that it honors Native American ball player Louis Sakalexis isn't true. The Native Americans I talked to today say they're tired of being trapped in the past by being referred to as team names and mascots, and they look forward to a change. Reporting from Cleveland, I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.